people of the purple butterfly here. Otherwise known as people seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at Purple Butterfly, Bash People dot blogspot dot com. And my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people dot Etsy dot com. And I'm here to do challenge attempt number two for the Rainbow Squeeze Challenge number six. And um, I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to get camera angles and all that stuff together. So basically, what you see is what you get because once I start, can't stop. So, huh. That's a little cloudy. Let me find a pair of goggles that don't have issues. Because issues are a bad thing when you need to see everything that's going on. Fortunately for me, I always have six or seven pairs of goggles at the ready. Do, 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 do. The tricky part is where they are at the ready. So, that one's not going to work. This one's slightly cloudy. That one has something going right through the middle. And my preferred pair is downstairs in the, um, not laundry, um, the sink for, I know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cause I got this all set up to basically, when I start, it's got to keep going. So I'm going to see if I can get it over here where you can see it. That's the... Because by now my oils are starting to re thicken. They're at 100 degrees. At first they were at um, 80, which technically is too cold to soap. And my light water, uh, and then of course the battery is going to act like that. Like I said, whatever happens is going to happen. So let's just see how much of it I can get on film. Emulsification. I guess cooking. I can't wait to trace because this will not be traced. So let's get the SS4 in there. Take this, and I'm 
if it goes right up to the edge here, so that way there's no drop down. I should have been that over poor. <laughs> oh well. And that's why the entire top of my soaping area is covered with plastic. And it's also why I wear plastic gloves, even though by now I'm a very, very careful helper. Now, let's see. Need to come over here. Got some of this paper towel action. Yup, yup, yup. That's needless to say, I don't have time for this week. <laughs> That's the nicest way to say it. I don't have time for this. Well, one of these is not even going to have a top on it because, well, ran out of top. Now, Come over here to this one. And that was one, two. That was good enough. Okay. Now I'll just put that right there. Since these two are both the same color, I think I'll just squeeze part of this in there. That way I have enough room to shake it up. That there is the um, aquamarine that had a little water mixed in, as to tell that made a very pleasant color and then this one is the aquamarine that had some oil which made a whole different look but all because of the same color I'm not really worried about it okay we'll put that paper towel right there this is going to be messy and I already know it so it's all good one Can we get more? I'll put that right there for now. And then the top needs to be cut. Ah, da 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 da. Stir up, it's going to be a real interesting look for the pinkish color. Can't be worried about that one right now. One to the next. Because even though this is a slow moving recipe, it still has potential to set up far too fast. And 
and a little bit that's sticking out from there. Well, I could do a splatter effect at the tail end of the core. Or squeeze it. However you want to call it. Now I'm beginning to wonder if I actually put color in that particular cup because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> now this one is the one that has more color because it's, well, a bigger container rather. One, two, three. take that one right to the top so that's good to know. But since I gotta do this two more times. Now the one thing I've never liked about this bottle is it doesn't quite distribute evenly. And it's made for coloring, so <laughs> You think of anything, that would be the one that would, you know, act right. Okay, now let's go to this one. Then go to the final one, two. I'm about to run out of color right on the very last container, so that was a good call on my part. Alright then. Now, this top one. And I actually planned for the pink to be first. Just because if you're going in a rainbow type fashion, the pink will represent the Roy in the Roy G. Bliss. So, I need to put the oh, see, yellow behind that green over there. One, two, 